Hey everyone, it's Greg from My Mortgage here. Today I just wanted to chat quickly about break fees. So when you've got a home loan that you've fixed at a specific interest rate for a certain amount of time, and then if you repay or close that loan uh, within that time frame, there could potentially be break fees. So this is where the bank is saying, you'd committed to paying us interest over this next period of X, whatever that is, and now you're breaking that contract, so uh, we're gonna charge you a fee to break that. Now, interestingly, um, there's a really complex formula that goes on behind here, uh, and it's to do with the rates that the bank are borrowing money at at that time and all those sorts of things. So at certain times, uh, break fees can be really, really high, and then other times, break fees might not exist. So right now, um, March 2022, we're not seeing break fees at the moment. And that's a little bit to do with the fact that the banks, uh, the interest rates going up and the banks are borrowing money at lower rates and then lending it out at those slightly higher rates and so uh, that's where um, we haven't been seeing break fees. Now the key thing there is you can't predict what break fees are going to be. So uh, sometimes people will ask us, hey look, I'm looking to sell my house in the next six months, can you find out what my break fee is? No, we can't, we can find out what they are today and uh, break fees can change day to day. Um, but like, as I said, recently we haven't been seeing break fees or very minimal break fees um, and who knows in six months where, where that's gonna look. So um, if you are looking to um, sell your property or you've uh, been given a bunch of money or you've saved money and you wanna pay off a loan, um, even just a portion of your loan that is a separate loan so you might have multiple loans set up you want to pay one off if that's paid off within a um term like in a lump sum there could be fees you can often pay up to five percent of a of a loan value with no break fees as well same thing if you're looking to restructure or refinance to another bank um, break fees as well potentially so um, touch base with us it doesn't always mean there's going to be break fees sometimes they'll be small and then we just add that in as a bit of a cost calculation uh, when we're looking to either refinance or do something else what's the cost of that and then how do we mitigate that as well so if you've got any questions about break fees or want us to have, want to have a chat about anything then just just give us a call uh, you can contact us through our website or through our 800 number um, look forward to chatting soon